Now you are ready to learn how to create a sketch. Remember, to create a part you are going to add or remove material by using features. To create a feature, you need to create a sketch. To create a sketch, you need to select a sketch plane. This is where our front, top, and right planes come into play. We will select one of these three planes to start our part. In this case, I'm going to select the top plane. When I click on the top plane, you can see it is highlighted in the Feature Manager. And in our graphics area, the top plane is also highlighted in light blue. To create a sketch, we need to go up and click on our Sketch tab. That will bring up all of our sketch-related tools. Up in the upper left, it says Sketch. We're going to create a new sketch. We're going to click on that. There's a couple things that happen when we click on the sketch. We can see that the, the icon changes to say Exit Sketch, and it is highlighted in blue. This means that we are currently in a sketch. The other thing that happens is our screen, or our graphics area, rotates such that the, the, the plane is in a normal or perpendicular orientation. This allows us the best view of our sketch plane. If we look at the sketch tools, you can see that there are many sketch tools available. I will cover five of the basic ones. Line, Rectangle, Circle, Sketch Fillet, and Trim. First, let's start with Line. If we find the Line tool, we can see the Line tool up here. There's an arrow next to the Line tool. If we click on that arrow, there are some other tools available underneath that button. In this case, we're only going to discuss the Line. So we can click and select Line. Once we select Line, our Feature Manager disappears. We see that the Insert Line Property Panel comes up. This has additional options that we can use in creating lines. In this case, we will not need to use any of these additional options at this point. So let's go over how to create a line. First, you'll notice as I move the cursor around, there's a few things that happen. There are some snaps that occur. So if I want to be directly above or next to a given point, in this case, the origin, the red arrows indicate the origin of our part and of our sketch. So let's create a line. First, we're going to select the end point, And we can go up. And as you can see, it'll actually snap vertically. It'll snap horizontally also. So I'm going to just make a quick box here. And as you see, I'm just clicking and releasing. And it'll continue on making all of the lines. So I'm creating a third line here. You can see that it actually is snapped over. So I've lined up right with this other start point. And I've come all the way back to the beginning. And I click on that. And SolidWorks is smart enough to know that I've created a complete box. And it says you don't need another line. So in this case, it stops the exits us from the line tool. So now that we've created the lines, there's a couple tools that I want you to know about. First is the Escape tool. Escape is going to be your best friend. It'll deselect everything. Now that we've used the line tool, let's say we wanted to delete one of these lines. We can hit Escape deselect everything, and we're going to select the line that we want to delete. We can click on that line, and we can hit the Delete key on the keyboard. We don't want to uh, press the Backspace button, but we want to press the Delete key. Another way that we can do it is that we can hover over our line, right-click, and we will see that we get a menu of commands. One of them is Delete. We can click on our Delete button there. So those are the two ways to delete a line. In addition, there are a couple things here that you'll see. One are these green boxes. Those are relationships, and we'll talk about relationships in just a little bit. I'm going to delete this sketch off. I'm going to drag a box around it, highlight everything, press Delete. I've deleted everything in that sketch. So let's go to the rectangle. The rectangle also has a down arrow, and there are many ways to make a rectangle. In this case, we're just going to cover the Corner Rectangle tool. Click on the Corner Rectangle. Our Rectangle Properties box comes up on the left-hand side. Again, we're not going to need any of these options at this point, so we're just going to create our rectangle. Click and drag. I can click and drag, and then when I release, the rectangle is created. It has remained selected. I can also just click 
and release and then come up and click again. You'll also notice is when we create this, the size of the box is shown, the X and Y coordinates. Now in this case, if you want, you can get your box close to the right size. We're going to set the final dimensions later and we'll talk about dimensions in just a little bit. Now, when we go to delete a box, let's say we want to del delete one of these, we can hit escape. Now what will happen is the rectangle is made up a bunch of lines. So you can see I can select each of these lines individually. So if I click on one of the lines and press delete, it'll only delete that line segment. If I want to delete the whole box, I need to click and drag a box all the way around it. That will highlight all four lines of the rectangle. Then I can press delete and delete it off. Next, we're going to talk about circle. So let's go to the circle tool. Next to the circle tool, there is a down arrow. We can see that there's a couple different ways that we can make a circle. So click on circle. Our circle properties panel comes up. Again, we're not going to use that. We're just going to create our circle. Now the circle here is a center radius circle. So we click on where we want it to, the center to be, and then we can click on the radius. We can make multiple circles however we like. When we're done with the circle, we can hit the close dialog box. We can hit escape to deselect and we have our circles. Let's delete these circles. Next, we're going to talk about the sketch fillet tool. First, before I show the sketch fillet tool, I'm going to make a simple rectangle that has four corners. Now I'm going to press escape to deselect. Our sketch fillet tool also has a down arrow. We can do a fillet, we can do a chamfer. We're going to be talking about the sketch fillet. Now the sketch fillet, the properties panel on the left hand side has a few parameters that we're going to want to use. First is entities to fillet. So this is going to identify what you want to fillet. Below that is the fillet parameters, and this is the actual radius of the fillet you want to enter in. So in this case, I'm going to change my fillet parameters to be 0.25 or a quarter inch radius. There are a couple parameters below the radius. We'll set those by default. So now let's go up and fillet a couple corners here. So in this case, if we hover over one of the corners, if I click right on that corner, I say that's the the corner I want to fill it, it shows a little preview of it. And if I click on that corner, it will actually show a yellow line that shows a preview of what that fill is going to look like. And in here, you can see in the entities to fill it, it shows up as fill it one. I can go to the next one, shows fill it two, fill it three. Now there is another way that we can add this fill it. And I can say I want to fill it between this line in that line. So where those two lines come together, SolidWorks knows I want to put a fillet in there. So those are the two ways to do it. Select the two lines that form the corner or select right on the corner. I'm done creating my fillet, so I'm going to click on the green check OK. And it has added in our fillets. In this case, it's added a bunch of relationships also, and we will talk about those in just a little bit. The last tool I'd like to talk about is the Trim Entities tool. In SOLIDWORKS, when we create a sketch, we need to have a single non-intersecting sketch. What is an intersecting sketch? If I draw a box here, and now I want to draw another box down here. So that's what I want my part to look like, is kind of a, a, a tall T. Now, if I look at this, in between here, this is intersecting, meaning if I come around this edge and I come to this point, I can go two paths here. I can go this way or I can go this way. That is an intersection. So what we're going to do is we're going to make this sketch non-intersect. So what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of this inner line in here. To do this, we're going to use our Trim Entities tool. Now if you notice, Trim Entities also has a down arrow and it has a couple different options. We are going to focus on Trim Entities. Now, in our Trim Entities Properties panel, there are five different ways to trim 
we're going to go over one of them and it's the most common one that you'll use and it's called the power trim and it is highlighted by default the way that we use the power trim is that for the section that we want to delete we're not going to click on that we're going to go away from that part we're going to click and hold and we're going to drag across the line we want to delete and when we drag across there it will remove that section now we can click on the green check mark now we have a non-intersecting sketch we can then use this sketch to create a new feature those are the five fundamental tools that we're going to go over now i would like to talk about relationships